once, before there were cowboys or any other white men in this land, there lived a brave and fearless Indian boy who saved his people from a cruel and evil magician. That boy was Hiawatha. I live in a deerskin wigwam in the forest near the ocean. Hiawatha is my name. Hiawatha. Machikiwis was my father and Winona was my mother. Hiawatha is my name. I know all the forest creatures, birds and animals are my teachers. Hiawatha is my name. Hiawatha Wawa Tracy is the firefly Ajidamo is the squirrel Hiawatha is my name Hiawatha 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 lived with his grandmother, Nokomis, by the shore of the great sea called Gitchigumi. And Nokomis it was who taught him the secrets of the forest. Hiawatha learned quickly and soon he could run swiftly between the trees without making a sound. He could track the deer to its drinking hole and surprise the beaver in its lodge. And then one day, Nokomis gave Hiawatha a bow of ash and arrows of oak tipped with flint and said, I am hungry, my grandson. Go into the forest and shoot a deer for me. Fleet is the deer, the timid deer, he runs like the wind, like the lightning. Careful the boy, the Indian boy, he glides, he glides through the forest, so silent. Frighten the deer, the timid deer, he raises his head, sniffing danger. Slowly the boy, the Indian boy, he fits to his bowstring and Shot has traveled truly, knows that a shot has traveled truly, knows that a shot, his shot has traveled truly. Slain is the deer, the timid deer, Slain is the and, deer, born, the timid deer, and born to the village for feasting. Glad the song, the ringing song, the ringing song. The people of the village praised Hiawatha the hunter. The men called him Soangataha, Strongheart. They called him Mangotesi, Lionheart. And they said, Perhaps Hiawatha is the great warrior for whom we have been waiting. Perhaps it is he who will rid us of Megasagwan, the pearl feather, evil magician of the swamp. Hiawatha stood up. He looked at his people and said, I will seek the cruel Megasagwan. I will drive him from our land forever. Then did Hiawatha's people shout with joy, and they feasted and sang. Hiawatha strong and brave, the people of his tribe will say, Beware, beware, oh Megasagwan, beware. Next morning, Hiawatha began to build his Chimon, the canoe in which he would paddle through the dismal swamp to the wigwam of the evil Pearl Feather. Of cedar boughs I'll build me first a framework. Cedar framework, cedar framework. With larch tree roots I'll bind the boughs together. Larch roots binding, larch roots binding, cedar framework, cedar framework. 
Now my canoe with birch bark I shall cover. Birch bark cover, birch bark cover, larch roots binding, larch roots binding, cedar framework, cedar framework. With fir trees balm I'll seal the seams and edges. Fir balm sealing, fir balm sealing, birch bark cover, birch bark cover, larch roots binding, larch roots binding, cedar framework, cedar framework. With berry juice, I'll paint my swift canoe. Berry painting, berry painting, fur bomb ceiling, fur bomb ceiling. Birch bark cover, birch bark cover, large roots binding, large roots binding, cedar framework, cedar framework. Iowa, now your canoe is ready, now your canoe is ready. Your canoe is ready now. Hiawatha set out. His Chimon sailed the black swamp water where dwelt Dahinda the bullfrog and Kennebec the snake. He sailed through rotting bulrushes while Sugima the mosquito sang and Shushuga the heron rose at his approach. Finally he came in sight of the shining wigwam of Megasagwan the pearl feather. Hiawatha fitted an arrow to his bow. He shot it at the wigwam calling Come forth, Megasogwan, come out and fight, evil one. Go home, Hiawatha, go home to the women, coward. Then Hiawatha fitted another arrow to his bow and shot it straight at Megasogwan. Oh, my shirt is made of magic wampum, no arrow can pierce it. Then Megasogwan seized his club and rushed at Hiawatha. Backward and forward, the great fight raged, all day and long into the afternoon. Toward dusk, Hiawatha was growing exhausted. He had but three arrows left in his quiver, and he had not succeeded in wounding the magician. Weak from the many blows of the evil pearl feather, Hiawatha was about to give up the fight. When, on a branch near him, a woodpecker cried, Aim your arrows at the tuft of hair on Megasogwan's head, Hiawatha, for there alone can he be wounded. Quickly, Hiawatha took one of his remaining arrows and fitted it to his bow. Zing! Hiawatha took his second arrow, zing, and his third, zing, and that was the end of Megasogwan, the pearl feather, evil magician of the swamp. Hiawatha loaded his chimon with trophies from the magician's wigwam and set out for home. my people sing to your son I am Watho in the Wawa sang the pine trees what way Ashka sang the waters and Hiawatha the Indian boy became a great hero of his people 